David Holmes and the Fergal Hegarty go for it together. Being flicked out again by Teefy as he races for the ball, but it's Hegarty who's got the ball. David Holmes not leaving him in. Inside to the half forward, a full forward. It shot the goal! It's a goal! Barry Quinn, the six mile bridge man, raced through the defence and banged it to the back of the net, and that is that. That's the tonic that's playing Flannan's really needed. A goal and 11 points to three goals and two. Can Sexton's fight back from this one? Connell was the man that started the action from the a half back line. And remember, he's a half forward. It's Ty Tobin on the ball now. Ty Tobin still coming through, throwing the ball up, but took it a little bit too far. And it'll be a free downfield. David Holmes again will be the taker of this free. About 90 yards out from the goal. Here he comes with it. That's a mighty long delivery. Drop it inside around the 14. Shanahan was running in, but Pardic O'Leary, the goalkeeper, gauging it well. And it looks like a piece has uh, gone out over the line. And the umpire has called in the referee, John Kelly, to have a word with him. And we'll see now. The goalkeeper, Pardic O'Leary, already has his name in the book. And what is he saying to him now? Already has his name in the book, remember. Getting ready now to puck out the ball. Meanwhile, off your screen, will Pat Fleury has switched Albert Shanahan into full forward and Tom Fitzgerald has come to the corner forward for, for Saxton Street. As O'Leary pucking the ball out to the centre again. Dave Hennessy on the ball. Driving it in as fast as it came out towards Albert Shanahan. And the fullback Paddy Gilfoyle. In there again. Trying to bring it out. Whipping on the ball. Not all that far though as Pat Conlon. Breaking it. Just gone out over the line. Trying in vain to keep it in. Was turning spy. Which will be a line ball for Sexton Street now. Tony Houlihan. This is third year playing Harty Cup hurling with a beautiful line ball inside there. It's dangerous, but it's Rory Buck who gathers it from the breakout from the forwards. Down towards Martin Conlon with the new style hurling helmet. Flaking it down now. Can they make something as Earls just get manages to get a, get a hurley to it? David Holmes trying to bring it out there along with the centre forward Fergal Hegarty, but not going all that far. Whipped out by David Butler. Driven further down the field by Smith, but it's going... Very close to the line. Can they keep it in? Paul Nina there. St. Flannan's men is down injured. It's the man who has received the tension already. That's Niall Tuhi, the Clare Castle man. Patrick O'Leary again getting ready with this puck out. Pucks it way out. But the referee has asked now that the ball possibly be pucked out again. Well, what has actually happened, I think, is that he passed the 14-metre line when pucking out the ball, and the referee is now giving a 65 to CBS Saxon Street. That's exactly what happened, I would imagine. You're not allowed past the 14-metre line, and for doing that, you broke the rules of the referee, John Kelly, and it'll be a free, a 65 in for Sexton Street Shanahan with the shot that is clean as a whistle a beautiful score by Shanahan just lofting it over and the run of him back into the full forward position again 3-3 three, three to 1-11 just gonna pass your screen there Pat Custy, the Ruan man, 18 years of age, making his way in. And Niall Tui, who was down injured twice in the game, making his way off. And it's going to be a St. Flannan's line ball. Sexton's having just 14 men on the field at the moment. Barry Foley still down injured. Not for long, he's back up and running as this line ball is taken by Rory Burke over there. Collected by Mark Minahan now, blocked down 
as Martin Conlon still trying to come through. He's hurling very well in this second half inside towards the full forward, Barry Quinn. They're all pulling. Tiffy is trying to bring the ball out. Here comes Pat Arles, playing a real blinder at corner back. Foul of the 21 meter line. It'll be a free out for Sexton Street. The watch is reading 23 and a half minutes of play gone on this first sec this second half but Healy grabs the ball out of the air again look at the shot of him coming up the field the ball total control by this man as he zooms up along the field releases it inside to Brian Tobin the Mungret man still coming with the ball about 45 meters out to the cute angle it's over a lovely point and smashing point by Brian Tobin Willie Moore is having his name actually taken in the far side of the field by the referee. There goes John Kelly just taking his name and Willie won't mind having his name in the book if the result is the way that he would like to have it at the end of the game. Three goals and three points for Sexton Street, one goal and 12 for St. Flannan's. It's tight and it's tense, 24 minutes gone of the game now inside is Keith Cregan with a shot leaving it off quickly off his hurley it's over that's a very good point came out of nothing really gathered it at centre forward and just flicked it off at his left hand over the bar to the little book what's good for the goose is good for the gander 28 minutes and 33 seconds gone in this second half of this game. A line ball to be taken by the halfback Mark Minahan. Minahan chipping the ball, gives it low along the ground to the centre where it's collected by Hennessy, turning back to make room for himself. Gives a long ball inside to the full forward line again, breaking out now towards the half forward Alan Purcell. Alan Purcell and the halfback Gordon Glenn on the ground, trying to bring it in at the corner forward. In a cross inside towards Hulan, Tony Hulan, and it's going to be a free M. A free M for Sexton Street, but it's a little bit acute and a little bit far out. One wonders what they'll do with this one. They need a goal desperately to come back into the game. 13 points to 15 or 3 4 to 1 12. Shot out with a shot, he plays. The ball has got to the back of the net for a goal! It's the goal and six has up come alive! What a goal! They couldn't see really what happened and the hearts of people around the ground at back to the park have gone absolutely wild! 4-4 four, four to 1-12 as O'Leary puts the ball out the field again and the place has gone absolutely wild now! Will it be back to Sexton Street for the first time since 1967? Bright Tobin picks the ball off of the ground and Sexton Street couldn't get a better start than that one! David Holmes! Composure and coolness is required at this stage and my watch is reading 30 minutes and 10 seconds of play gone in the second half of this game. I said maybe a minute and a half of extra time. Here comes David Holmes with this free. 90 meters out. A shot that's going high. Put it up and put it over. I think at this stage predictions that CBS of Limerick will have ended the 26 years of deadlock and the cup may well be going back to sit at St. Michael's CBS in Limerick. My watch is reading 30 minutes and 40 seconds of play. 4-5 to 1-12. Wonder what John Kelly is doing with the whistle at this stage. Comes on again at the halfback. Minahan is going for the ball. The far side of the field and pulling it down. The game has come very much alive. The cornerback doubling it up the field is David Hoy. Is there life left in Plan and Jet? Don't write them out. They've great tradition. They've got four in a row of a pass, of course, in between 44, between 44 and up along to 47. They had four in a row. CBS also had four in a row in 64, 65, 66, and again the last time they would in 67. Minor him with the ball, drives it down the field. The hearts are ticking away. The hearts of excitement are really blazing as CBS, Sexton Street, go for the ball over the far side of the field and out over the line. And now the shoe is on the other foot. Flannan definitely know that they've got to get a goal, they've got to get a point, let's come back into the game, 4-5 to 1-12, they come forward once again with Brian Tobin, Tobin racing forward, the Mungret man coming through with a shot that's high, gone to the left and wide, it's wide, Tobin, that lovely craftsman with a hurley in his hand, puts it to the left and wide, Sextons are gone absolutely wild in the far side of the field.
half one twelve to four five and Natello Grady standing behind the goal in no rush. My watch is reading 32 minutes and five seconds. John Kelly.